vertical ball, then a plate, then make three holes. This leg, huh? Yes. That leg. Click. Click on the canal, and you'll be Oh. Aywa. 7.4. Temperature also. Okay, na? Very busy day, but I will show you something. Uh, we have to install a uh, anemometer for a rafter in grade WR3 plus for uh, measuring the wind when the crane is on the uh, vertical position. We will show you on uh, on how to install this and how how it works. So it has a receiver and there is an antenna on it. Then after the receiver, we have the sensor. Once it will turn, it will give number on the receiver. So this is for safety purposes. The operator must know that the wind is okay or the wind is too much. He has to stop the work, stop the lifting, and then close the boom. Stop the work for that day. This uh, anemometer, it has a manual. So it's very easy for us to install it. So we have a guide how to install, how to save the details, how to program. It will make alarm. If the safety is allowing only 25 knots, you can put program 25 knots. Once the wind will reach on that uh, number, it will alarm. The operator knows that it is unsafe. Then he will inform his supervisor, close the boom and stop the work. And this is also a calibrated one. So meaning, the number of uh, knots he will show on the top is totally accurate on the receiver. So there is nothing to worry about it. So purely this is uh, a very important device for a safe lifting when you're using any type of crane. Uh, truck mounted crane, uh, crawler crane, overhead crane, a jeep crane, or jack up barge crane, any crane. So. We will show you how to install it actually on a raft terrain. So watch this.